Microsoft Flight Simulator on an Xbox? Well, now you can using the stylish hat called the Hat Remote. Let me show you how it works. What you will need is a flight yoke. It works best with this anyway. And an Xbox console of your choice. Series X obviously is the best for Microsoft Flight Simulator. A standard wireless mouse is a good idea. And here's the most important part, the 3D wireless mouse. You'll also need a USB hub with on off switch and just a cheap hat that's not being used. I found this for $5 and it is extremely stylish, let me tell you. Especially once you've Velcroed this little puppy to the top. That's the only button you need to press on this little bad boy. And as you can see using a traditional mouse here, works pretty well. There's uh, certainly, there's no problem with using a normal mouse. It is quite good, but it's not as immersive or as realistic as using head tracking. And I know that you could have a fancy several thousand dollar PC with webcams and things like that set up to do head tracking, but you can do it for around 30 or 40 dollars using a 3D mouse. Here's the dongle. So you can see I switched between the two mouses there. Now this donut's going to appear when you do switch between mice. You need to press the home button once, press it again and press B to get rid of that donut mouse and go back to the normal mouse each time you switch between them. Press the little 3D mouse button on your remote which is now enabling me to use the wireless 3D mouse that is velcroed to my really stylish hat. Don't I look good? Uh, that is just the height of fashion right there. And you'll see, now when I turn my head on the Xbox, in any direction, I have full head tracking. That's freeing up my hands. So what I'm gonna do is show you the settings that you will need to make this work. First of all, we're gonna go to the camera settings and here you need to make sure that your free look mode is set to toggle free look reset is manual then you need to ensure that your free look speed and momentum is set to 100 for more immersive and quicker reaction time do the same with the external free look speed and momentum this is all dependent on your particular mouse, by the way, but with my one, this was how it works great. So, the most important button you're going to use, which I have dedicated to the right hat switch, is the toggle free look in the cockpit button. That's going to enable it. Pressing left is also going to become your best friend, because that's going to reset your view. Because it will get out of sync, and you'll need to reset it back to the neutral position frequently. That becomes second nature. Pressing up on the hat switch, I've set to my zoom in and the reverse on the bottom down to unzoom. So I can control all of the camera using just the right hat switch. On the left hat switch, I'm pressing left there to um, enable the external free look mode um, on the external side because there can be a conflict if you set it to be the same as the cockpit free look activation switch. Pressing right um, enables the external camera or the cockpit camera. Pressing down decreases the height inside the cockpit and pressing up is the alternative to going higher. With all of that said, it's time to put it all to practice and see how this thing works. Feels good to be able to have both hands on the yoke at all times. And if I need to look to the side, it's just naturally going to move the camera wherever I look. It does take a bit of getting used to and a bit of practice to get used to the resetting of the, um, the headset tracking switch to enable that to reset, 
But once you get used to that, it becomes second nature as I mentioned, and you don't even realize you're doing it after a while. See how I just reset it there? Now I'm zooming in. Obviously I can look around while I'm zoomed in as well with the head tracking. do this just as comfortably as if I was in VR and I have had extensive experience with VR and flight simulator and this is great not having to put on a headset and I've got no hands here I'm doing the whole thing just with my head it is a really great feeling of freedom to have it on an Xbox as I mentioned earlier, you'd have to pay thousands to get a PC that could run head tracking software. But for the sake of $30 or $40 for this wireless mouse, this 3D wireless mouse, you can have a very similar experience on your Xbox. Also works the same in the external view. As you can see here, I'm using my head to change the camera. It doesn't work quite as well in the external view as for some reason it was back to front. I haven't quite figured out how to correct that. But anyway, I'm very happy with what I've got there. It's working fantastic. Hope it works for you. All the best guys.